Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I will explain the problems on LCM and HCF. In the last session, we already discussed uh, the concept of LCM and HCF and all models we covered uh, related to concept. Now, from this session onwards, we are going to discussing about uh, problems related to LCM and HCF. See the first question in this session. Find the greatest number which divides. Greatest number is nothing but uh, HCF. We need to find the HCF of 850 to 1065 1491. Exactly. We need to find the HCF of these numbers. To calculate HCF of uh, any numbers, uh, always better to go with long division method. Take any two numbers out of these four. First, I will take 852 and uh, 1065. 852 and 1065. According to the long division method, divide greatest number with smallest number. One time. 852. Here it is uh, remainder 3, 1, 2. Again divide uh, previous divisor with this remainder. 2, 1, 3 and uh, 852. Divide 852 with 2, 1, 3. Here it is uh, exactly divisible. 2, 1, 3, 4, sir. 2134 sir 852. 204 sir 800 and 134 sir 52. 852. Remainder is 3. And uh, HCF of these two is uh, 213. Why? Because you are getting the remainder by dividing with 213. But this is not your final answer. You have to take this value. You have to take this value and uh, third value. 213 and uh, third number is uh, 1491. Third number is 1491. Do the HCF of uh, these two numbers. Same process. Divide greatest number with smallest number. 2137 sir 1491. 2137 sir 1491. Remainder is 0. Here you are getting the remainder while taking the number 213 as divisor. Therefore, 213 is the HCF of uh, all the three numbers. All three numbers HCF is uh, 213. That is the answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Find the LCM of 1.2, 0.24 and 6. 1.2, 0.24 and 6. These are the numbers which are given. Now, first of all, we know how to calculate LCM of uh, general natural numbers. But here it is given as... Uh, decimal numbers first of all uh, to remove the decimal point you need to multiply with uh, 100 each and every value multiply with 100 why because the reason is uh, among all the numbers uh, among the given numbers uh, after the point maximum two digits are there for 0 0.24 maximum two digits so if maximum two digits are there, you need to multiply with 100. Not single number, you need to multiply each and every number with 100. Then what you will get, here it is 120, after that 24 and after that 600. What is the LCM of these three numbers? You need to calculate the LCM of these three numbers. See here, LCM, just take the long division method that is up to you lcm 1 24 120 and uh, 600 if you take long division method it is better to take uh, directly 8 or else 4 4 6 4 30s and next uh, 4 150s after that here it is uh, you can take with uh, 3 3 2 sir 3 10 sir and after that uh, 3 50s and next, you can take with 2. 2 1s, 2 5s, 2 25s. After that, 5. 5 1s, sorry, 5 5s. Right? Now, after that, you can multiply each and every value. LCM is equal to, LCM is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 5 into 5. 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 4, 100, 100 into 6, uh, that is 600, which is equal to 600. 600 is the LCM of uh, 120, 24 and 600. But if you want to uh, calculate the LCM of these numbers, initially you multiply with 100, 
once you get this number you have to divide with 100 why because initially you multiplied all the numbers with 100 but if you want to get the lcm of only 1.2 and 0.24 and 6 you have to divide with 100 lcm is equal to 6 lcm of 1.2 0.24 and 6 LCM of these three numbers which is equal to 6. 6 is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. Here also same thing but we need to find the HCF. HCF of 6.16 6 and 13. So here also after the decimal point you have two digits you can multiply with 100 for both the numbers so that you will get a 616 and the second number is uh, 1300. First calculate what is uh, HCF of uh, these two numbers. Go with long division method. Divide greatest number with smallest number. 61620 that is uh, 1232. 61620 1232. After that the remainder is uh, 68. Remainder is 68. Again divide previous divisor with this uh, Reminder 616 uh, divided by 68. Uh, here it is uh, uh, how many times if you take uh, 9 times uh, here it is uh, 72 and uh, 54 plus 7 61. So 68 nines uh, 612. Remainder is 4. After that again divide previous divisor 68 uh, with this remainder. Here it is exactly divisible 17 times. Uh, 4 into 17, 68, the remainder is uh, 0. The remainder is what? 0. Therefore, HCF of 616 and 1300, which is equal to 4. But this is not the HCF of 6.16 and 13. Initially, you multiplied with uh, 100. After getting this value, you need to divide with uh, 100. HCF of uh, 6.16 and 13 which is equal to 4 divided by 100 that is 0 0.04 0 0.04 is the hcf of uh, these two numbers guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching